Hey guys, welcome to lecture 15 of this course. In this lecture, I will cover the SQL wildcards. We looked at the person sign wildcard in the last lecture, but let's look at that wildcard again in a slight detail. The person sign wildcard is the most frequently used wildcard in SQL. Within a search string, person means match any number of occurrences of any character. For example, to find all products that started with the word fish, we can issue the following SQL statement. Select broad ID, your name from products table where broad name like in single quotes fish and the person sign semicolon press enter as you can see we are looking for all the products that started with the word fish and we only have one item like that here fish beanbag toy and that's what we got as you can see the person sign uh, within the search string means match any number of occurrences of any character. Um, wildcards can be used anywhere within the search pattern and multiple wildcards may be used as well. The following example use two wildcards, one at the start and one in the end. So let's do that. Select broad ID, broad name, from products table where broad name like in single quotes person sign doll person sign semicolon enter so what's happening here here in this SQL select statement we are looking for all the products that contain the text doll in it so in this table here we have two items that contain the text doll in it we have the king doll and we have the queen doll so as you can see it's pretty straightforward to use the person sign um, wildcard the second type of the wildcard that I'm gonna cover is the underscore wildcard so the underscore is used just like persons the person wildcard but instead of match, matching multiple characters, the underscore matches just a single character. So let's look at an example. Select. I'm just going to clear this up. You can issue the command system. Clear. So now as you can see, we have this clean slate here. Let's output the entire table again just to make our life easier from products table so yeah there's the table so let's use the underscore wildcard select um, product name the usual from the table above yeah product name like in the single quotes underscore inch teddy bear looks good as you can see we have one item in the output the eight inch teddy bear um, why we don't have these two items in the output the reason is the underscore matches only the single character eight is a single character underscore is going to match just that it's not going to match these two items the 12 inch and the 18 inch the reason is the 12 is a two character 18 is a two character as well so how can we output these two guys so we can just do that press up arrow on your keyboard to check uh, to see the last query you used you do that and just add the another underscore here and press enter 
awesome so as you can see now we can see these two outputs as well 12 inch and the 18 inch but now we cannot see the 8 inch because 8 inch was a single character and these two are the the two um, are the, the double characters so how can we output all of these um, inch teddy bear um, products we can do that pretty simple using the percent sign it's gonna use my up arrow on my keyboard to see my last query and just replace these underscore by the person sign so what's gonna happen here here we will see all the three outputs that contain the text inch teddy bear in it press enter awesome so as you can see we have 8 inch teddy bear we have 12 inch and we have the 18 inch because we use the person sign um, so that's pretty much it guys as far as the SQL wildcards are concerned there are a few more other wildcards that you can use but they are not that common they, they, you won't you won't use those wildcards as often but if you want you can always go to uh, w3schools.com and just just go for the SQL wildcards just go here and as you can see we just covered the person sign the underscore and then there is this uh, the, the double brackets but the thing is in your career as a SQL developer you will only be using the person sign and the underscore mostly so that's pretty much it guys for uh, for this lecture on wildcards I'm gonna see you in the next lecture thanks for watching